Yes, I'm going to freehand this one because I just don't feel like bouncing between operating systems as I am a Linux user, but most people are Windows users, so we're just going to go with that. So this is a Nuvi 260, 260, and we're going to install, well, I'm going to tell you how to install my maps on it that will work with this. So we're going to go to some screenshots over here. Right. So first of all, get yourself a 32 gig micro SD memory card, or you may have the full size SD. Either way, get yourself a 32 gig card and put it into the Nuvi and then plug it into your computer. Now what should happen is that you'll see the Garmin drive. I'm not saying yours will be labeled as F, but it will have a drive letter. But it will also have a second drive letter and it should be blank. Let's go to the next screenshot. Okay. Now, the, what you do have to do is that for your blank drive, that is, excuse me, blank memory card, that is in the Nuvi, you do have to go down the properties right there. You have to do that first. Note the size. So it says 29.7, that's actually the 32 gig card. And I want to make something clear right now, don't pick the wrong drive. So if you have something else plugged in there, <clears throat> like I have a memory stick over here, and I have an SD card over here. I know this one is the one plugged into the Garmin. So I'm going to put a big fat disclaimer on this. Don't format the wrong thing. If you do, not my fault. Don't be an idiot. Just be careful with this stuff. Anyway, moving on. So I've identified what the drive is and I'm going to right click that and left click on properties which leads me to here, right there, FAT32, that is what we need to check for. If it says FAT32, you don't have to format the card. But if it doesn't say FAT32, if it says EX FAT, well then you got to right click it again and go to format. And then you see this. At least in Windows 10 you do. I don't know about Windows 11, but it should be similar. So it shows the capacity, file system, very important, FAT32, default allocation size, quick format, and start, and then you format the card, but only if you need to. What we do after that, now on my system it was drive letter G. On your system, no idea. Might be something different. But anyway, I select that over on the left from this PC and then select the G drive on this one. And then I go into the blank area because the card is blank. I right click and go to new and then folder. And from there I create two folders, one called Garmin and one called Map, and I want to make something very clear here. I am creating folders on the card, not the Garmin device. I'm going to repeat that. I am creating two folders on the card, not the Garmin device, meaning not the Nuvi. So I create two folders. Now what I do first is that I'm going to take the gmap supp.img and the gmap sup1.img and copy them to the Garmin folder. And then after that, copy the files once. And by the way, that copy is going to take a long time. Because on the Garmin 200 series, uh, most of them are USB 1.1, very slow. Uh, the, the copy will complete, but it's going to take some time. And then you turn it on, go to Tools, and then Settings, and then Map, and then Map Info, and you 
check. If you have old Garmin maps here, then you uncheck and leave the this one checked. And if there's a Garmin map, you leave that unchecked just by tapping it. And then that's it. In the next video, I will describe how to put in locations with GPS coordinates. Fun stuff, right? Of course it is. See you soon.